Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be looking at another example on what cam. But this example will be under plate cam to operate a roller follower. Now, he said 0 to 450 degree lift, 32 millimeter with uniform acceleration and retardation, 150 degree to 240 degree dwell interval. 240 degree to 360 fall, 32 mm with uniform velocity. Cam rotation is clockwise. Minimum cam radius is 24 mm. Roller follower is 12 mm diameter. Then cam shaft diameter is 24. The first thing you need to do is to put all these parameters in a tabular form. And this is how it goes. Put it in this form this way. Right? So when you do this form, it's very important to tabulate them in this way. Now you now start working. The first thing you draw is to draw your what? Your cam. Now I will draw my cam in this direction here. So let's start and see how it goes. I'll draw my horizontal line. First thing I'll do, then I'm going to draw my vertical line so this should be the first thing I'm doing right so in doing that says so um, the cam shaft diameter is 24 millimeter, this is where it's written. Cam shaft diameter, the first thing here, is what? 24 millimeter. So since diameter, you need to take the radius to draw your cam. So I'm going to take the radius, which is what? 12, half of 24. So that will be... Mm -hmm. So I'm going to thicken it this way. So that's the first thing you do. So the next thing you're going to do is to draw the cam meter sheet. I mean, I mean the cam meter sheet, and that is 30 millimeter. The second one here. That's the next thing you do. Draw the cam meter sheet. So. But when you are drawing it, it will be from the center. So if I measure 30 millimeter here, I'm going to draw it from the center. Put my faint line. Are we good? So the next thing I'll do is to draw the lift. It's like 2 millimeter. So you always measure the lift from the top of the cam meter sheet, right? So measure that, 32 millimeter. So I'll place it here. Hmm? I'll place it here. And I'm going to mark. 32 millimeter. After doing that, I'll take you to the center. I'm gonna draw my circle this way, faint line also. Right? So the next thing I'm going to do is to divide this circle into 12 or 24 equal parts, but I choose using 12. So from here, the same radius I use, I'll mark this direction. I'll place it here. I'm going to mark the direction. I'll come here, I'll mark left, and I'm going to mark right. So, by passing this point through the center, by passing this point through the center, we'll have this first, the next one to the center, we'll have this second, this to the center, I'll have this third. This is the center. I 
how this works. And that is all. Now the keyword here again that we need to follow again is that how is the movement? It says the direction of the cam, the cam, the follower rotation, the cam rotation is what? Is and is I mean the cam rotation is what? Clockwise. If the cam rotation is clockwise, then the follower rotation will be what anti-clockwise. So it says the cam rotation is what? Clockwise. It's telling me the cam is moving in this direction right so moving in a clockwise direction if that is the case then the follower will be moving in the opposite direction moving in what the opposite direction so now we we'll start moving this will be zero degree thirty degree sixty degree ninety degree one twenty degree one fifty degree one eighty degree two ten degree 240 degree, 270 degree, 300 degree, 330 degree, and what? 360. That's the next thing we we'll do. Now the next thing we we'll do here is to draw our profile, right? So I can draw the profile from this point. But the most important thing is the what? It is the ruler. And the ruler diameter is what? 12. So I will take 6 to draw the ruler diameter. So if I measure 6 from 40 to 46 is 6. Right? From 40 to 46 is 6, which is this. Is 6. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to draw my circle like this. this point so that is where the ruler will be that is symbol for that it is what it is ruler now after that the next thing i'm going to do here is that i'm going to project this point outward to draw my profile so let me start from here from this point i'll project it outward please to this point here are we good? You can draw the profile anywhere. So before we move forward, let me see if it will give me what I want. Okay, fine. So I'll divide it from this point zero. Let's move it here. From this point zero. I'll draw my vertical line, or let me take it forward a little bit. I'll draw my vertical line upward. Now we know from here to here is 32. So I need 16. The lift is what, 32? This is the lift. So I need 16, half of 32, to do what I want to do. So this is 16 here. Now place it at this point. Place it at this point. So I want to close it up. So if I do that, I do not divide here into 12. So this will give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to close it up with the help of my T square. So 
This is what I have done. This is 0 degree, 30 degree, 60 degree. degree 90 degree 120 degree 150 degree 180 degree 210 degree 240 degree 270 degree 300 degree 330 degree and 360 degree right now the keyword here again we need to go after is that it says from 0 to 150, it is uniform acceleration. Now, if you look at this now, uniform acceleration, if, if, the way you go for uniform acceleration is that this is 0. If I count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's 5. And there's no way you can divide your circle into 5 equal parts, right? So, what we are going to do, we are going to do it this way. So, I will enlarge it. So you see clearly what I want to do. So we are saying from 0 to what? From 0 to 150. So at that 150 point, I'm going to take my metal rule and I'll cover it up this way. Right? And what will I do? I'm going to divide it into two equal parts. So if this is 0 to 150, that is, it is, um, let's see. From 1 to 60 so the half is what is 30 right so if you divide this line from let me start from the top here this is 6 right so that means the half of it is here so if I move 10 this is 10 20 this is 10 this is 10 this is 20 and the half is here right so I'm going to roll it down this way. Can you see that? And the two equal parts. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to join the diagonals. This point here to this point. Can you see that? And the next thing I'll do again is to place it here. So this is the center point here. Oh good. Now, the next thing you do here again is to divide this point into three equal parts. Divide it into three and also divide it into three. So you can. So this is how good. So you divide it into from here to here, divide into three and from here to here, divide into three. So if you like, you can use a line division or you can just simply use this guy. So how we do it? We are going to measure from here to here, from zero to the top here, and then this is from zero to here is this ten. So you divide sixteen by three. Sixteen divided by three, and that is what five point three. So I can just divide into five 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 each. Let me see into five five each. Right, so let's start. So, from here, I'm going to see from here to here is five, another five, another five. So, this is into three, right? So I'm going to join from this spot to this point here. U to U, U to U. So, that's the three there right and i'll do the same thing here too i'll divide it into three or so divide into three because it's 16. so it's 16 too so from here i have five and five So this is it, and I'm going to join from this point here. So 
So this is the first stage I will do. Right? So since I divided it by three, I'm going to do the same thing here too. Don't forget, mm -hmm. if I made it here is 16, then how many is here? So what would I do from the 30 degree that I have? I'll take them up. So this one, we touch this line, the first line. Second line, we touch the other one. Can you see that? And the third one is the one touching here. Now, if you look at it, now if you then if you use a French cuff, you connect this place together. This point this is a point. This is another point, and this is another point here. So I'll be having something. Let me not draw it. Let me complete it first. Now the next thing we do is the same thing will happen here too. With the help of my T square, I can trace this point 120. I can trace it up here. Mm -hmm. Can trace this one too. Can trace it up here. So what will I do? I'm going to start drawing it from here. So you, you come down here to touch this, and you, you come down here to touch this. Right. So in doing that. I'm going to use my French curve and join all these parts together. So use your French curve is important. So you have something like this. Right? Now the next thing you do again, you do it for the other part. You said from zero to from zero to one fifty you need from acceleration. Then from the next one here that we have here telling us that um, from 150 to 240 is dwell, is resting. So that's what I'll do here. From 150 to 240 it is dwelling. So that means from 150 here to this point here is dwell. So I'll just roll my line up from here to this point. And I'll just join with a straight line. Do it means it's a trust. It's a trust. It's a trust. Right? Now, if you do that, this is still 0, hmm? 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So I'm going to divide it into 4. So of me doing it the number of senses coming down with what? Uniform velocity. So when you have uniform velocity, you are going to divide your semicircle into four. So what will I do? I know from here to here is 16, right? So I'll place it here. I'll mark. Come to this point. I'll mark. I'll come to this point. And I'm going to connect it to here. Mm -hmm. Now you see that? So I'll divide it to my my um zero, one, two, three, four. So I'll divide it to my forty five degrees square. Forty five degrees square. Oh good. So project this line outward. We bring this guy up. Bring this one up too. Bring this up too. So let's see how it goes. And this center line to this point. So from here we're moving from this point to this point, to this point, to this point, and to this point. Can you see that? So I'm going to join it. So use your French curve. So use your French curve to join those points. So we have successfully 
brought out our profile diagram. Mm -hmm. so I've done that. Right, so for we to transfer our point to the circle, that is the next stage. So what are we going to do? We'll take our, um, let me make it smaller. So this is what I'll do here. I'm going to take my compass. I'll place it at. I place it at um, this point. This is zero, and this is my zero. It's going anti-clockwise. So one to thirty is here. Let me show you. So moving from this thirty here, I'll come to where thirty is. So this is my line of 30, I'll place it at this point here. Now mark. I'll mark here. Then my first point. I'll go to the next one. Which is 60. I'll place it at this point here. Right? And I'll mark. Right, and I'll come to the next one, which is what 90, and at this point here, and I'll come to where 90 is, and I'll mark. Right, the next one will be 120 at this point, come to where 120 is, and I'll mark. Right. So, the next one is 150, so 150 is touching the top of it, so we'll move it, so this will be 150 is dwelling, 180 is dwelling, 210 is dwelling, 240 is dwelling, I mean this point here, they are all dwelling, right? So, the next one is 270, so I'll move the 270, I'll come to this point, and I'll mark, this 270 here. This one is um, 300. I place it here. I place it there, and I mark 300. This one is 330. I place it here, and I mark. Right. So that is not the end. Mm -hmm. Now we end here. They gave us the ruler diameter to be what 12. Let's check it out. Our ruler diameter is what? Is 12. Ruler diameter is what? 12 millimeter. So I need 6 of 6. So this is what I want to do here. I will measure 6 on my meter rule. Measure 6. And I'll place it at every point there. In this point here, I'll place. I'll draw my circle, faint line, right, I'll do that for every point, come here also with the same, I'll do it too, faint line, come here also the same, I'll do it, uh, sorry, I'll do it too, faint line, I'm going to pass that and do this thing. Right? And I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing. Come here too. I'll do the same thing. I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing. Faint line, come here too, I'll do the same thing. I'll come here too, I'll do the same thing. I'll 
I'm coming through I'll do the same thing. Come here too. And here too. So what I will do, I'm going to join all those points together. Which point will I join? All these points here together. So Use my French cuff and join all these points together. All these points together. Where it cuts the line division. Oh, good. So let me do that with the French cuff. So, this is what you'll be having. So, we have successfully drawn a ruler follower. And this is what we have. So thank you very much for watching. We'll meet in our other section.